In this video, how I make the shadows. So the first thing you need is a word. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to write hello. You need it. You don't want it this small. You need to work with the words bigger. I make them as big as this page because otherwise the outside won't work. So you can change the font. You can leave this one. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one. But the way to change the font is you go here and then you can just change it up here. They're all here. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm going to go to arrow because that's the way to select it. And now that I have it selected, I'm going to go to path, trace, bitmap. And here, I always have it the same way. I go to multiple scans and then I have colors. It doesn't really matter because we are not creating an SVG, we're making a shadow, which is one color. So I have all this selected, and then I go update, OK. And nothing happens, but it did happen. What happened is that you just change this from text to a trace bitmap, to, a, uh, to a, like an image, OK? So we can close this now, and now we're going to go and do this always the same thing. You go path, object to path, then you go object, ungroup, and you see how it divided and and uh, each letter separated. If this didn't happen, then you mess up the trace bitmap. So it happens, so we're good. We keep going. Path, union. And now it's one solid piece. In this moment, I go ahead and I duplicate my writing. That way I have the original one that is the one that's going to go inside. It's already there, and I don't have to go and make it again. And I know it's going to be a perfect fit. So I select one of them, and now I'm going to keep doing the outset, the path outset. You do it as many times as you want to make the shadow big. Or you can go ahead and do the, press these two things on the keyboard. That's what I do, and that's what I'm going to do right now to go faster. So let's do one more time. You see how it got thicker? And now we're going to keep doing it. I tend to do it like five, six times. It depends also on the font. This is a very thin font. So once they're touching, I stop. Like, I will stop there, but I'm going to keep going, like, at least two, three times so you see what happens if you do it too much. That, that looks good. Okay, here. You see this little, this is what happens. It starts getting, like, um, uh, sharp edges. You to, to go back, you have to do undo. You're going to have to do undo as many times as or you want to go back. I know that's a little sharp edge for this. But, uh, you know, if you want it or don't want it, it's your choice. So once you have it where you want it, you go File, Save As, and you're going to save it as a plain SVG. Because uh, if you save it as an Inkscape, you won't be able to open it in Design Space. So plain SVG, and I always call it Shadow. That way, every time I do a new one, it replaces, and I don't have, you know, a lot of them. So we're going to go here, upload, upload, browse. We're going to find our shadow. Here it is. And you see, now I have the one inside and this one in the shadow. They're already there. I don't have to be writing it here in Design Space. I'm going to go ahead and insert the image, ungroup it. And let's just change the color so you guys can see it a little bit better. Also, I want to show you something that I do with um, with contour. So sometimes when you do this in Inkscape, you'll have like little holes. The way how do you fix this is with contour. You go contour and I'm going to get rid of all these little holes here. I'm going to just place, uh, press hide all and I got it there. So now when I bring it to the front, it's a very nice shadow. So that's how you do it.